In this tutorial, we will give you a brief introduction on the new features added in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. With CS6, you don't need to drag and scan the desired footage in each clip one by one. The new Adobe Premiere Pro comes with a Mercury playback engine where everything becomes more responsive as compared to older versions. In this case, we see that if we move the cursor across the footage, it starts playing automatically. If we move the cursor towards the right, the clip plays forward, and if we move the cursor towards the left, the clip rewinds. It also allows you to set the mark in and mark out points within the clips. This is a useful tool since you can determine the starting and ending points before bringing the clip on the timeline. When we drag and drop the clip on the timeline, a notification would pop up asking you what aspect ratio should be considered for the sequence. Keeping the right aspect ratio is necessary to avoid any loss of data after exporting. A new introduction in CS6 is the newly added workspaces. If you go to the window menu, move over workspaces, you can find different presets. For example, the audio preset which provides you with a dedicated mixing monitor that comes in handy while editing. You can handle each individual audio layer separately through this monitor. Similarly, you can check out all the other presets one by one. Adobe Premiere Pro gives you the complete freedom of designing your own workspace. In order to stretch any of the dialog boxes, move your cursor to the borders of the respective window and stretch it as much as you want. You can also drag and drop or relocate any window anywhere in the interface. For example, click on the media library and move it towards any other location. It will show the preview window highlighted in blue. Once you release, the media library will shift to the respective location. You can again stretch the window and change the appearance as required. Once added, you can quickly switch through tabs as well. You can revert back to the previous interface by going to the Windows menu, moving over to Workspace, and clicking on the Reset Current Workspace option. A confirmation window would appear asking you whether you want to reset the changes. Click on the Yes button and you're done.